Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We are doing another book read, this time Judge Dredd Scenarios, Judgment Day, for the Judge Dredd role-playing game by Games Workshop. This is 1980s goodness right here, and as you can see, it's still in the plastic wrap from whatever shop this person bought it from. They paid free 55 back in the day. We're going to open it today. I can't believe I'm saying that, but there we go. This has been wrapped and hopefully is unread for the most part. Like it's got a piece of cardboard in there to keep it stiff. We'll see if that's a good sign or not. Uh, Judgment Day is an intriguing investigation for a team of two to four players of average experience or four to six newly appointed judges. This package is not a complete game. You need the 2000 AD role playing game. It's two in the morning. A team of judges glides through the deserted streets surrounding the old maze development area, looking in vain for the occasional insomniac perp to arrest. It's a very quiet night, with few of the shift's major incidences catching the attention of the judges as they drift over their bike radios. The mob war is continuing to rage. Throughout the northern sectors, another two-bit gangster has been terminated by oppositions tonight. A massive new tower block has been found to be infested with rad fleas, while emergency med squads desperately battle to fumigate the building in time. Some crazy citizens has taken it has taken it into his head to fire guided missiles at zoom trains as they pass, presumably just for fun. On the whole, though, it's been a quiet night. Far away, though, a shadowy figure is putting finishing touches to a plan that will put the whole of the just the judges. Oh my god. Anyway, enough of me failing to read basic English. It's quite funny. Copyright 1986. IPC Magazine. So that was before Rebellion got it. Uh, and then 1986 Games Workshop. Oh. I am very surprised that it's held on to the beautiful colour. Very surprised. Look at it. It's beautiful gonna leave this piece of cardboard here for now until we get to it let's see what we get inside i don't want to crack it or anything judgment day contents we get game master preparation the story so far shot in the dark the killer flees trouble on titan carl has risen space equipment and afterwards so the opening page gives you a quick rundown of what the games master needs to do to prepare and then what the players need to do. I'm not going to go through everything because this is going to ruin the story for everyone. I don't know if you're ever going to play it or not. If you're not, then reach out and I can tell you the plot a bit more. But let's just see what's in here. So set during the Judge Carl era, which is quite nice. And then you get the start of the patrol. You get a little overview of what's happening. There's a spy in the sky camera. We then get to visit the maze. And inside we seem to get ambushed by mutants. So there's mutant one with no name. Mutant two who is called Pinky, Charlie and Igor. A little map. What we got? We got a couple of warehouses. The pedestrian plaza. The on-ramp for the road. I'm guessing these are all shops that are boarded up. We then got some a plaza rubble. A little description of all the numbered parts. Like I said, I don't want to go too crazy into this. Sector 437. So this is definitely before all the sectors got blown up. We uh, got some named characters. Some judges also appear still in the maze at this point that is a great picture of a robot that looks like a doomsday robot of some sort the sjs get involved oh that's not good i just love the pictures then we go to that rad flea infestation that they spoke of on the back taxi companies the academy of law trouble on titan this i am excited to read there's not much about Titan, so learning a little bit more about Titan definitely excites me. Then it looks like these would have been pullouts, which I'm definitely not pulling out. But it shows a city block, 
Let's see if I can see a name for the city block. Right there. The Tarim Twin Towers block. Uh, Pre-apocalypse population 141 levels and it had a population of 8,075 people. We then have a random floor. It's so nice seeing stuff like this. We got a Titan map. Oh, do we visit Titan? That's cool. We got the prison complex. A couple of craters going on. Oh, I really want to read more in depth. Learn what's actually happening in this story. Then stop him before he kills us all. Wants to kill the city. Stop him or we all die. He is dot dot dot. <laughs> no idea what any of this means. Then we get, uh, looks like some more characters. Warren Pentecost, he is a med division. An SJS person as well. Oh no, it's the same person. Warren Pentecost, he's been investigated by the SJS. Then get a close-up of the Titan surface, so we must go on a mission there. Then it looks like a cave has been discovered. I am going to leave this with the book. It's kept it in great condition, so I'm not going to risk... Oh, I just saw something amazing. Then Peter Kent. So that was his cave that we were just looking at. Oh, look at that picture. I wonder if this was drawn especially for this magazine. Wish you'd, wish you'd know. Uh, oh look, Magruder was the SJS officer. She goes on to obviously become the chief judge. That is a stern-faced lady who will later become the chief judge. We then got something to do with trying to work out what this is. It looks like it should be... Oh, here you go. Mega Astoria Theatre 1. So multiple theatres, office, a hollow vid display, balconies, then there's a lobby that seems to have a killdozer, a dinosaur, operator booth, shops. Oh, this I love. Look at the figures. So I'm having a little resurgence of painting these guys. This is great. Show me what I am missing though. I'm missing quite a few. Got a couple of broken bikes. I think I've got these two. Definitely got them and him and them. Got him and her and him. I think I'm missing these three in this one. Definitely missing him. I think I got the new version of him. Got them. Definitely missing the SJSs, I think. Beautiful old dark judges, clegs. They were so small back then. Ugh, I really need to try and find more of them. Look at that. 195 a model. Amazing. And we get the Kent picture again. It looks like it was actually part of the story to do with Titan. And they maybe just reused stuff. We got Stallone. Oh, okay. So that's um, this guy. His tabs says Stallone on it, if I remember correctly. So there we go. We've actually got rules for him. Mungo. One of these is also called Mungo. I think it's him. So that's pretty cool. I'm finally working out where the names came from. Let's just see. He's got knives. Oh, no, they're both um, the same way. So they're probably just both spearmen. Uh, we got more Titan maps. Kent's cave again. Carl has risen. So this must be leading up to the Chief Judge Carl taking over the city. We've got some more judges. There is a reception committee. Margaret Hunter and Jonesy. A little interlude. Then it's back to school. Oh, the Killdozer from the Cursed Earth games. Sky Surfers involved at some point. 
We then get a weird dinosaur. This is all to do with the theatre. I think we're at the end, so I don't really want to go too crazy. But we've got some additional rules. There's things like a bubble tent, a robo mule, spacesuits, space armor. Uh, doesn't seem to think about using weapons in space. A little bit of an afterword. Saying that there's plenty of sequels that you can move into. And Carl will come back, maybe. Then there's some source materials that they show. And finally we have, and I am never cutting these out, but look at that. We got some cardboard cutout figures. We got Miss Black Shack on a skyboard. Chief Judge Magruder. Call me, Ish Ish Ugh. Call me Ishmael. A Rat Pax. Igor, Charlie, Pinky. No name, so they're the movies from earlier. Spy in the Sky, Daughter of the Apocalypse, Jocasta Jones, Conrad, a Britzit Judge, got a few of them, that's quite cool. Chief Judge Gideon, he must be signed to do the Britzits, Stallone, Mungo, and Kent, so they're all SJS, um, not SJS, it's Titan Prisoners, okay. So I was completely wrong with thinking it was to do with those miniatures. We then got a judge, a judge on a robo mule, a couple of them, judge in vac suits, and then more daughters of the apocalypse. So there you go. Quick and dirty, quick and dirty. It's always the problem when it's like a full campaign. I don't want to deep dive too much because it could ruin the plot for somebody who wants to play it. But that's beautiful. I'm so glad I opened it. So glad it's in great condition. Look at that cover. It's beautiful. I am now going to wrap this in plastic again so it doesn't get too damaged. And hopefully one day I'll get to play the scenario. But until then, cheers for watching.